I am very excited now to introduce our graduate student speaker, Biniam Aseged Kebeda. <laughs> Born in Ethiopia, Biniam moved from Kenya to the U.S. to continue his education at the college level. Through his favorite industrial design class, Business Principles, taught by Bill Fuchs, he realized that design is inherently entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship is inherently design. Please welcome Biniam. Thank you, Provost Constantino, President Somerson, faculty, and everyone here today. Most speeches end with a thank you, but I would like to start with one, along with a quick prayer in my native language of Amharic. I'd like to thank my parents and every single parent in the room for be believing in us. I'd also like to thank my fiance Nina back there and her sisters for their continuous moral support. Today, I would like to share three stories with you. Steve Jobs once organized his speech this way, so I thought it must be a good idea. <laughs> My three stories are about faith, community, and humility. I'll start with faith. About two and a half years ago, I decided to apply to grad school. I applied to one and only one school. I told myself if I'm going to go to grad school, investing my time and asking my parents to invest their savings, it had to be risky. Some might say it's crazy to have put all my eggs in one basket, but I would say I had faith. I would say given the odds, we all had faith applying to risky. And luckily, risky saw something in us. In my first orientation, President Somerson said something that has stuck with me ever since. She said, RISD chose you as much as you chose RISD. RISD too had faith in us. At RISD, we've learned that faith is, however, not a replacement for hard work, because all we did was work hard. We've all pulled on lighters, requested RISD rides at 3 a.m., and if we managed to fall asleep, have woken up panicking about our project. Some might define faith as good karma, the universe providing, but I define it as a combination of positive mind and God's will. Regardless of how you define it, faith is what really matters. Like smile, faith is infectious and inspires people around us too. At RISD, we've enriched our faith through our work, great friendships, and spending time with ourselves. As we depart, I urge everyone to keep nurturing your faith from the way you treat others, the way you practice in your discipline, and how you grow as principled humans. Second story I would like to tell about is community. Growing up in Ethiopia, I did not recognize the immense value of close relationships we had within our community because I never lived anywhere else. I grew up in an apartment complex with almost 300 people, and yet most people knew each other intimately and were like family. In fact, we were so close to our neighbors and saw each other so often, we sometimes had to hide from each other to have some space of our own. Fast forward, I now live in a two-bedroom apartment by myself with lots of space, but unfortunately now, I don't know my neighbors and feel a little bit disconnected. Fortunately, though, I found a community just as strong as one I grew up with here at RISD. The most extensive scientific research on happiness comes from over 80 years of study at Harvard. This study shows that what makes people self-fulfilled isn't money or fame. It's spending quality time with friends and family. In fact, my thesis project, which is on view right next door, is an intervention called Let's Cube that uses technology to help people to get physically together and enhance their sense of community. I firmly believe we should spend more time with each other 
because we only get to live once, and spending quality time with our close friends and family is too precious and unique to miss out on. Today is a special day, not only because we're graduating from the best art and design school, but because we're surrounded by our peers, close friends, and family. Imagine it without them. It wouldn't be as meaningful. The final story I would like to talk about is humility. To my fellow grads, speaking to you today is the most humbling experience of my life, as you are an incredibly talented group of people. But sincerely speaking, my entire two years at RISD has been humbling. I attended open studios in my first year, and actually, some of you sitting here today have crushed my dreams. <laughs> Coming to RISD, I thought I was a decent painter and an okay graphic designer until I saw what the students from those departments were producing. You put me back right to my place. I'm confident this is true for all graduating today, but from my personal experience, I've learned so much from my peers. Especially my thesis year, I wouldn't have pulled through it without your, their feed, feedback and support. I'd like to thank my fellow ID grads and, and GD grads with spe and special thanks to Jonathan, Jake, Brandon, Maria, and Erica for great, being great friends and inspiring humans. Speaking of humility, on my 14th birthday, I went to my father's office and said, hey, Dad, today's my birthday. Here's, he responded, well then, happy birthday, son. Anything else? <laughs> when he saw us a little bit disappointed, he said, Vinny, don't be obsessed with your birthdays. You're always special to me, and technically, every day is your birthday. Real celebrations are like Christmas, the Battle of Adwa, and things more significant than you that involve other people. Of course, I did not comprehend it then. But like always, my dad was right. Likewise, today's celebration is more significant than just me and my fellow graduates. It's more significant because it also belongs to our families, friends, and close families. It's also significant because we're now the artists and designers of the future, and that comes with great humbling responsibilities. Mom, Dad, I love you both, but I think this also calls for a celebration for each and every one of us. So dear grads, have faith, spend time with your loved ones, and always stay humble. Believing is seen, and excellence is a continuous process. So envision your future and keep striving. Class of 2018, congratulations. Thank you.